and here we go this is flash somebody and in a perfect world without Fla my partner Vinny without flash wow see how I get flustered just doing this alone anyway we've got to say hello to the people out there but first hey Grim Grimner is the brains behind all the technical stuff that we don't seem to remember to use all the time and <laughs> in the same order the same way i'm funny like that and i like to break a rule now and again it keeps me distant from this electronic world anyway and a special hello to miss kate i don't want to um, neglect you out there in you know behind the scenes land but Kate's one of the moderators and probably one of the few people that really <laughs> likes to to listen to the shows we do because you never know what we're going to say or what we're going to talk about and we keep her attention. Anyway, so thanks for taking me with you on your excursion in your pocket, Miss Kate. But don't tell Cirque, she might get take it wrong. <laughs> anyway. We have the bots and bodies in the reallibertymedia.com chat room for your typing experience this evening. And from the top, we have Barman Grimner Moose Girl, who's probably working. Uh, Miss Kate, who's out mobile. Brackets DC Anti Asmo Chelsdoni. I be Don C J Dread, Meister Brow, Rain Rob Works, Rome's Vanna White, Vinny with some weird name V R E I I there, Weather Dork Phantom, and well then, Beetle Colfax 101, Cyborg Noodle Dakota, Me Frumpy Grummet He He Man, wow. Java Doctor 2, Jay's Nines, Jay's Kozu, Kiss, mm -hmm. Ponder Gander, hey Vinny, Pwn Sass, Sack Puppet, Tech Man, Uno, and Van Meter. And those are the bots and bodies for your typing entertainment this afternoon, early evening, out there in Radio Land. And... I wasn't expecting Vinny the, to show up tonight. He's been, I don't know, playing around. But he did a dork table with me and Mary Saturday. So, uh, we still got it. And I think tonight's topic of pontification and such. Well, yeah, no, thanks, Grim, for putting us out there. And all the places you put us out where people listen and Wow. <laughs> I guess it's way better than TV. Uh, TV just bores the shit out of me. I like movies, but the new, newer things are getting the less interesting they are. And as I get older, I run out of stuff that I haven't seen that I like. I must be like a bigot, you know, uh, an entertainment bigot. It just doesn't entertain me. So, anyway, what was I rambling on about before I interrupted myself with all that? Uh, yeah, my topic for tonight is, and you're going to love this one, people. Everything we know is wrong. And there's proof to prove that everything that you know is true. And then there's an equal amount of proof to prove that everything that you know is not true. So... Wow, how do you choose in this insane time of life where you can willingly be a moron if you want to? I mean, to some people, that must be the better choice to go, Well, I don't want my neighbors to think I'm crazy, so I think I'll support this here government and not make a problem. Hey, sweetie, my wife is escaping with a dog and I must say see you later honey see this is a very uh, relaxed radio this is not for mental patients people that take uh, prescription medication oh people that drink excessively 
Who else would I say wouldn't be interested in this? Oh, the overeducated people out there in the world. Whoa. No, never in a million years. And uh, according to the chat room, well, we have Vincent hanging around. So he's, I think he's going to stay lay low. And we'll just go on with everything we know is wrong in a perfect world. Because, uh, and the way I see it that way is, well, if everything wasn't wrong, how do you explain what's going on? I mean, we talk about things openly in public forums and complain at the same time, complain about not having First Amendment rights while you're saying the government's a piece of shit. Well, I think you got the right. I think the controlling is where who listens to what you say is somehow controlled. Don't know how they do that. Probably still the same thing as usual. Uh, popularity. You know, there's a lot of lot of people on the internet right now, and they're competing for that attention. So, the gimmicks are you know they're getting more gimmicky, and eventually you run out of gimmicky shit, and all you have left is what we started out with here on the Real Liberty Media. From well before I got here, but the truth, and that's always a lot of fun because no matter what the truth is, somebody else is going to tell you that's not the truth because they don't see it that way. And fortunately for us, but this is probably coming in the works with all this government shit, is you can still choose to believe whoever you want to believe nobody's yet made a law that says you must believe this or else now if i'm wrong about that and there's new laws let me know because vinny wouldn't have uh oh i may come in later to slap you around some if you want flash Oh, yeah, Vanny, that's what you're going to do. Now you're starting to sound like the adults that type that dumb shit at me. Come on, knock it off. Grow up. Be a big boy and be funny. But that, that's just lame. Slap me around. What kind of nonsense is that? Mm. Anyway, I think I had to roll one. Go on a nice rant about everything we know is wrong. And where do you start? What's the most popular one right now? Venezuela, inoculations, um, you know, mandatory, forced by the government on you, experimenting with your freaking body for your own good. <laughs> I'm, I don't see how they sneak that. It's for your own good stuff in there. They're clever, these politicians. They know what to say and how to say it. And it just gets enough of the public, the whatever out there in voter land and reality world to put up a performance as though they truly support this mess that we live in. And geez, well, I mean, when you talk about, okay, like Trump, here we go. We'll start with a Trump thing. I'm going to clean the swamp. Of course, he used his goofy Donald Duck Jew guy voice, but I ain't going to do that one. I don't do a Donald. No, the only Donald I'm going to ever do is maybe Donald Duck. But anyway, so what have we got? You know, we've got a guy that worked in the entertainment industry and openly supported Clinton for 20 years. And all of a sudden, all that's forgotten. He's the president of the United States. And, wow, I remember when Hansel was all counting the fucking days until that moron was going to sit in that chair and clean the swamp. And the first fucking thing he did is filled it with Goldman Sachs bankers. And that, see, I think what that exposed is his his uh, holdings in Russia. You know, financial ties. He's in up to his eyeballs everywhere because the more you do, the less 
that you can really follow and figure out. He's keeping this mess really complicated. And, you know, average Joe doesn't know shit about finance. They they think it's all about buying houses and cars. No, 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 no. That's for us poor people that don't know anything. And then you have this other this group of people. <laughs> And the adults that follow these morons around and praise them for all their good work. Well, I hate to put it like this, but we're all getting what we, we, what we deserve in the long run by tolerating it when you don't have to. And <laughs> But they got force. They call it, in, they even call it enforcement, for fuck's sake. Oh, we're going to enforce this rule and that code and all this crap to generate money a business how now does anybody ever ask their self what does the state and city and federal authority do with all this fine money they collect you know where does it go it's just gone like everything else <laughs> Rumsfeld, well, we uh, hmm, we seem to be a few trillion dollars missing here. Um, we're not accounting bowl for it. Where did it go? We'll get back to you. And the next day, 9/11 happens, takes everybody's attention off that shit until about 2008, and then they got their attention back with a hmm, a bank bailout, bailout trillion dollars bailout you people can't even count to a million you can't show me a million anything where i'm gonna sit and count to a million to prove there's a million there and we throw these numbers around billions and trillions like hey that's just normal yeah think about that normal when you get paid next month and you think about how normal a trillion dollars is so it goes to, you know, everything that I think I've been taught in my life, all of it, was either complete bullshit or partial bullshit. Very rarely, I can't think of anything that's truly, found, you know, got a foundation of honesty in, and something you can prove behind it. It's like when I tease Cirque about the earth, when I tease anybody about the earth. But uh, Anti came up with a good comparison to that. He said when he was in school, he didn't recognize Jesus. So the other children decided, well, he must be Jewish because they recognized Jesus. And they knew how to deal with people that don't. Now, I happen to be one of those people. But seems I grew up in a time where political uh, affiliations and religious affiliations and all that shit wasn't that big of a thing. People didn't give too much of a shit about it till I was getting into my teens and I started to notice some of that stuff. But mm, I don't know. The 70s was, were kind of strange. A lot of weird things happened in the 70s that don't seem to happen anymore. Like... Serial killers. Remember all those? Every freaking month, there was a new serial killer. And they didn't just kill women. They killed men, women, children, animals. Whatever got in their way, they killed it. And they were serial killers. So, and uh, I found all these links on the YouTube but I noticed that that trend has a beginning where it was really in your face all the time, blah, 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 blah. And then it has almost like a an end and it just goes away. And all these madmen that were, you know, out there murdering people for fun and enjoyment, well, they must not have bred and had children that grew up to be like their daddies and their mommies. <laughs> so... Because of that, wondering why the shift in society, you know. And when I was in it, I kept hearing about it and reading about it. But 
I never met anybody that was killed by a serial, you know, relative of or victim of. Nah, none of that shit. It's all newspaper and TV for 59 years. So, for me, I've come to the decision that, well, as far as I'm concerned, most of this shit doesn't matter if it did happen or if it didn't happen because it's relative to where I'm at, you know, where my body is physically at, not where I want to be, not work, not uh, way over yonder, but, you know, where I'm sitting, where am I at the moment? Let me light this thing up so I can get really involved in my everything we know is wrong rant. <clears throat> what? could like to think of something that wasn't wrong but the fuel supply is a freaking joke and they got these morons convinced for i don't know how they pull this off right now cannabis is legal in so many states and some countries have even gone as far as portugal to just decriminalize drugs altogether all across the board put their attention on curing people of wanting them and not punishing them for using them because you know, just like serial killers you know people have rights right didn't serial killers have rights and shit mm. what are my favorite i think my favorite serial killer who would that be out of all the ones i read uh, read about over the years i think i was most intrigued and it's 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 a weird one that uh the Hillside Strangler case, that was kind of weird. These two cousins were doing just horrible crap to females and this, that, and the other. But still, again, I was living in L.A. in that period of time, and I don't remember anybody, you know, telling me, yeah, I knew this girl, and she got drainoed by the Hillside Strangler. And then it seems like the older I get, the more the uh, things stay the same in the long run. Because you just have the younger people coming up underneath our, you know, our generation. Uh, like me and Grim and Mary, that, that group. Um, the people coming up behind us, wow, well, they don't have a lot of imagination. I, you know, I would say the older folk, you know, the... In the old guy crowd that I'm in on the real liberty media dot com chat actually make the most sense. Yeah, there's not a lot of younger people, but I think we know who I'm leaning towards. And it's sad because so, so disappointing to see somebody so totally indoctrinated, you know, not aware of the reality, thinking that the the shit life is what everybody should be supporting and most of us on real liberty media don't because like i asked once time before do you have a date with ignorance i mean what the fuck is going on in this world that we live in uh i heard a guy explaining uh, electricity and then i went to his link and I found out, wow, th there's so much more to the so much more than I've already ran into on this electricity thing. I mean, speaking of everything we know is wrong, I, geez, I'm stuck on uh, just how did it possibly get this bad? And along the way, there's never been any form of resistance to it since uh, about 1970. And good old Tricky Dicky, well, he jumped in there and said, well, we're not going to have any of this. Kill somebody. And they did. And ever since then, you know, protesting against something, uh, being against the government, well, that scares people now. They're afraid of it. They don't want to be a victim of that freaking monster. They want to be a part of the monster. I think women have an old saying where, where my mom was from is, uh, life is easier when you sleep with the devil you know <laughs> instead of some strange wacko devil out there. So, 
maybe that's how uh, how this works. Fear. We're all fear, 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 fear. I'm feared. You're feared. They're feared. Who ain't out? Who's out there that ain't a fear to something? I'm a fear to stuff, I suppose. What would I be a feared of? Mm. Now it would have to be an outside interference into my normal wonderfulness time, you know, where I'm happy and go lucky and things are good. But fear, because like when the dog barks, is that, I seen a meme the other day about this dog barking and the dog's looking out the window and, and uh, in his mind he's thinking all's calm and then he barks at everybody in the room thinking he's letting them know all's calm. And maybe that's to the dog, that makes sense. Who knows? But look at the things that we're taught. Good Lord. E equals MC squared. Well, I found a guy that just harps on uh, Einstein was a freaking moron. Complete total garbage came out of that guy. Nothing useful. Just fancy words. And he was from the right family. So they quoted him about a bunch of crap. And the guy I'm referring to refers to Tesla as being a genius, true genius, and Einstein, pompous ass, nonsense storyteller. And I find, see, I told you, if you look hard enough on the interwebs, you're going to find what you're looking for. And I was looking for that. That's why I found it. Of course, if it ended up on other people's uh, browsers or whatever they open they wouldn't open it to see what it was the appeal to the truth what what does bring people to a point where they want to know how this happened you know not the official story because that's always ends in tears our our tears because the the debt just keeps going up and the bankers want their freaking interest and we're going to pay it. Pay, pay, pay. And I'm amazed because here we are. Everybody really seems to understand the federal government is 20 plus trillion in debt that they'll account for. <laughs> and then money just doesn't exist. Well, we don't know where it's at. We can't find it. It's gone. Hmm. Well, that's because it was never really there in the first place. There's just ways to keep us all dazzled with uh, bullshit, you know. And if they told us the truth, the way the truth is run, they wouldn't last ten minutes. So they lie. They tell you stories and make up all this good crap. and Do a lot of violent things to distract you from pursuing something beside that they want you violent and angry and pissed off so i'm gonna smoke one for the angry pissed off fucker out there in the world that doesn't know how easy it is to turn the thing off because i think that's the decision you got to make you got to cut loose from this freaking monster somehow and even if you're in it I don't think Moose is, like, in it. You know what I mean? Moose is again it. <laughs> but I don't think Moose is a bad person in the world to get along with. This is where people can tell you the government's fucking shit. You can't go to work and say things like that because everything we know is wrong and your peers will punish you for being honest even if they say you're full of shit they know deep down inside this crap we live in this could be so much better but we live on bullshit the church and state even figured out a way to make hemp illegal so that they could sell the second rate uh, garbage emitting shit that uh, it couldn't compete with hemp. If, if hemp was legal, the world would be different. And they know this. Now, so there are certain states. and whether I would say, what's it, Monsanto, 
turned into bear. Well, all those companies along the way have been fucking with shit that we don't know anything about. They send planes up in the sky, dropping shit on us, dropping it into the soil. And this gets all the support of the voter, the taxpayer, the guy that wants progress off your back not we're not even the people in the room even the ones that brag and talk a big game about how well off they are you're not that well off you're you're dreaming you're trying to be something you're not because this is the real world down here where we tell you the government's fucking joke shut up yet i don't know the government still gets supported you know by <laughs> anonymous names on a screen that refuse to prove their people you know like do a radio thing or a link or something let us know you're really there and you really mean this stuff but see that's what i mean so we as people are expected to believe because you type it, it's so. I have, I have written it down. It is true now. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go into the text. See if I've got anybody stirring it up. Oh, J Dreads, they're bullshitting with Grimner and Well Then and Frumpy. I had to end Well Then when I ended Frumpy because I was getting tongue twisted in my little rant tonight. On in a perfect world, because let the mocking begin, people. We're not here to fuck around. We came here to prove something. Now, I've told you, and I'll tell you again, proof to me is the story I like. And that's all it is. I can't tell you it's real or not real or whatever. I just like that story better than the other story. So to me, that's proof. And then the other guy says... Well, but that's not what the government said. <clears throat> well, your first indication of problem is anything that follows and the government said. We There you know. <laughs> Grimner is not people. Okay, what do I call you then? We need to find a, a new term to satisfy the king of the real liberty media because he's not a people like everybody else <laughs> he wants to be special <laughs> i'm having a giggle at grim now oh i'm a bad guy but he's one that said that but i know what he means because people are actually legal fictions and we are not that well we are but not because we want to be and then how do you explain <laughs> so i mean everything we know is wrong we're hijacked into this collective through trickery and deceit paperwork and lies and stories about people that had wooden teeth and chopped down cherry trees and about other guys that had top hats and freed the slaves you know, all <laughs> that shit. They spent all that time, wasted all that fucking time with me in some stuffy room with a bunch of other squirmy fucking kids all wanting to get out of there and go do something else. But for whatever, what, six hours a fucking day, we had to be in that place doing these things. And what came of it? I don't I can't figure it out. I don't think I learned anything in school. I think I learned everything that I uh, could have learned at school. My mom and dad already taught me how to do it. So progressing from this level to another level uh it was ridiculous because school was so they were set up to teach people that didn't know how to read how to read but I already knew how so they didn't have anything to teach me. And it was, whoops, what are we going to do now? And that sets the cornerstone of my, you know, my rant tonight. Everything we know is wrong. 
because, well, even though we're all uh, the same, you know, we're all made out of some kind of shit, and we do these things, and we have a life, and then we don't. And that's about as similar as we are, in my opinion. Um, I would bring up Cirque because, of course, Ash, I married her. She's in my my little wife. But other people, hmm. see, if I don't know you or speak to you or like Vinny, I don't physically sit with Vinny, but me and Vinny speak together. So that that changes the uh, friendship quite a bit when it's not only in text and you actually you hear the other person's voice there's a there's a life form to it I don't know we're carbon based life forms all of us to some level and they got us all broken down in these little groups of these people are these kind and those people are those kind and oh boy and that's where it all begins. Once they divide us, then they can control us because we're in little groups. Then they control the little groups with other little groups of better armed uh, persuasion. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. They got tanks and freaking, uh, what do you call them, helicopters, drones, um, body armor, Kevlar, They're and they're and they're always afraid, so they shoot first. These people don't fuck with them. They are a force to fear. Now, I don't want to live in fear. So, I don't live where the, you know, the land is large and the police are larger. I live where the land is small and the police are small too. You know, there's very little... Uh, to say about this place is so small and quiet. Uh, I'm fortunate to not live in the big city where all the drama's going on. And I know there was a, what another false flag in New Zealand. Kid on uh, Bitshoot Jerry, he's already tearing this shit apart, showing you where the flaws are. So whether people died or not, when they pitch that at you, how do you not bite on that one what if 50 people did die but what you're not being told is the truth about how they died <laughs> so hmm, I don't trust this government any government I mean they killed Kennedy right in front of me on a TV set saw it with my own eyes argued about it as an adult for years people and their theories and <laughs> look at the freaking results of the event not the event <laughs> the event is symbolism hmm. you know to me because in my mind everything I know is wrong everything I agree with with other people about stuff it's just waste fucking time doesn't even matter it is so unimportant to be agreed with it's not funny how minute it is and I think I've figured that part out for myself by the results as usual. I mean, look at what people are, what they're attracted to. Ooh, that's scary. I mean, when you think about it, instead of a little sacrifice and, hey, we could upgrade and use hemp and clean all this mess up. But that never comes up. Now they got this, what's that crap I was seeing on mine? So the green... What is this something? The Green Movement or something like that. Anyway, I'm not even going to bother to get into the details of reading it because I already know this much about it. It won't say decriminalize hemp in it anywhere. Now, let's see. I got somebody saying something about New Zealand. <laughs> I'd go to a New Zealand jail for possessing that video, says and well then. But I don't know what video he was... Oh, look, maybe he's talking about NZ threatens 10 years in prison for possessing mosque shooting video. Hmm. See, all this print, you know, all these people's explanations and words, cause, and then they can manipulate film and make you see anything they want you to see. I, I've been watching movies forever. 
I'm telling you, some of this stuff, <laughs> where do you draw the line and go, oh, that's not real? Your mind's kind of busy doing it, and while you're being entertained, I'm not fast enough to be watching a film and slow down and go, well, that's just bullshit, because I'm actually watching the film. So for all you smart people out there that know the difference, boy, I wish you would have told me sooner. <laughs> it took, took me forever to get over that one. The movies aren't real, honey. Uh, nothing is Nothing is real. Well, you're real. And Israel is real, but it's not. It's oh, she. I got a thumbs down on Israel. <laughs> See, the truth about Israel is so sad. It's, it's reruns of the United States, but with barbed wire instead of rope. I mean, at least Americans are a little bit kinder about their enslavement, but the Jews are. They're horrid people, and they shoot to kill, too. They shoot unarmed people, and then they write about it in the newspaper like they're bragging. Ooh, nobody can touch us. We have circumcised cocks, fuckers. Ha, 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 And the rest of the world just fucking bows down and says, okay, nobody argues with Israel. Seven million fucking tipless Little short guys with dreadlocks and funny hats running the whole fucking planet through banking. And then when you tell anyone that, they think you're insane. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. That's just conspiracy theory. Well, look at the results. Fucking putting arsenic-laden fluoride in American water. <laughs> and then in one report... You read, 40% of the water in America is fluoridated. And then in another report, you read as much as 75% of the water in America is fluoridated. Okay. And then you find out what fluoride is, and you're like, hey, I don't want any of this fluoride shit in my water. Take it out. <laughs> I don't, hey, get something un, unknown. Uh, whatever, fluoride me. Get it out of me now. <laughs> So guess what there is? There is proven ways to detox your body of these waste chemicals that we have absorbed through the fun and happiness of the government over the last, well, for me, 59. For the rest of you, maybe a few less, a few more. And the young people, they don't even got a clue because they got inoculated I mean, we beat that shit. We came in after the inoculations were being shoved down everybody's throat. Hell, we grew up getting the illness. Ooh, he had the measles. Oh, well, see you in 10 days or so when you get better. Because uh, in my day, childhood disease is what, is what you went through to grow up. That was the passing, you know, right? You get sick and gives you this thing for a week and then you get better and then you grow up and you never get that again because you got it as a kid and now you're defended but we live in this world of fantasy and make-believe and science and we got to trust these liars to tell us the truth and guess what they don't and the truth is oh, it's out there and it's not hidden, it's misdirected is what it is. And they get these biased accounts of how this happens and how that works and projections of shit. They don't tell you the truth about anything. They can't. If we lived in the truth, we wouldn't be here. This is my whole premise of this whole thing. This is a result of however many years of lie upon lie upon lie. And here, we'll go back to the chant. We'll give Grim a little attention tonight because I picked on him earlier. <laughs> he says, Flash, fluoride is for the children. Why do you hate children? And that's, see, that's what I mean. There are equal amounts of links in the world on the interwebs that will promote that very idea. And then there's the reality of, of what fluoride is at the level of what they use <laughs> not it's the difference between doing and telling 
is all. They they tell you one thing, but they actually they use this other thing. But they call it the thing that they're not using. Now, I don't know how they pull this off legally, but they do. Because this is what's happening to us. And with our collective consent, we've agreed to do this. Hey, I got the elixir. Ooh. Now, I'm just as guilty of every bullshit thing I say as the next fucker in one way or another. But the, I think a lot of folk aren't, uh, not that they're dodging it or anything, they're not aware of it. Because you got to take responsibility in your mind to be in control of what you physically do. Now, to me, that's, I smoke a bit, so I don't think the marijuana thing is all that everybody's made it all up to be. I mean, I know there's big, heavy strains out there, and they put you to sleep in 20 minutes, and you'll eat four pizzas, and all, yeah, wonderful. But for me personally, no matter how good the pot I smoked ever has been, I've never jumped off the roof of a house into a swimming pool on fire because I thought it would be fun. Those ideas come to me when I drink. <laughs> when I drink, I do, I've do. i been told terrible, horrible things after a certain amount of alcohol. Uh, but, yeah, jumping off a second floor into the swimming pool from the house, not on fire, just did it. My wife's shaking her head at me because I brought that up. But I just added the on fire because it was nuts for me to do what I did. But <laughs> I was drinking. So now had I not been drinking, had I been smoking, I wouldn't have done that. I would, you couldn't talk me into doing something like that. It's, it's lame. <laughs> so whenever I've done a lame thing, it's always been behind a, a, an alcoholic beverage or 12 or 3. <laughs> it depends on the drink, I suppose. Well, I, I'm just saying, so when I was younger, I didn't have limits. See, that's what I mean. Everything we know is wrong. And some things, you get advised on them. And the shit that you're being told is just more bullshit. <laughs> you can't give people advice on how much to drink. There's no such thing as how much I should tell you how much to drink. That's just insanity. But... <laughs> When you put it on yourself, here's the problem. After you drink, you can't make that decision anymore. That you, Alcohol takes that ability away from me to think clearly. That's why I do it. <laughs> but if I excess and do too much, I, I lose. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. A few, I can handle so much. But then after a point, it's, wow, <laughs> it's just craziness. And I don't think that's any different than anybody else. I think we're all the same. Of course, I'm in a minority of me. Ah, my wife is going to listen to music while I do my In a Perfect World rant about everything we know is wrong. Let me see. I wrote something here. Let me see if I can make any sense of this note. Ah, here we go. That deep state thing came up a lot in the chat today. And I'm not disagreeing with you, anti. No, that's not the point. What I'm saying is, to me, state, deep, wide, left, right, south, north, state is state. Don't matter. You either you got barbed wire or you got rope. But you're going to be entangled in something that is never going to be what, what it's represented as. It's always going to have a, another side that you don't see to it. That's what this size of population brings out of people is the thieves and the liars and the opportunists and the ne'er-do-wells who think that because they own something, it makes them better and worthy. and ugh, It's just insane. And the good people that live a decent, good life, they don't have anything to show for their years of being good. But the shitty people that abuse and take advantage and fuck over, they, they win big in the money thing. And we're taught to worship that like it was 
special. Oh my god, that fella's making $20 million a year throwing that football. Mm. So, now to me, he's an entertainer. Okay. Um, an entertainer with a skill like that, of course you're going to you're going to impress people with it and it's wonderful and all this and all all that. What I don't like is all the negative shit that comes off it. Gambling. I mean, you know, because we're, we're taught to be competitive. And we're taught to place a bet every now and again. Yeah. Mm, hold on. Anyway, I'll get, uh, let me think. Hey, Vinny, why don't you come on here and give me a hard time with my, you know, what was it tonight? Everything I know is wrong rant. Because I bet you think everything you know is right. And I would venture to guess the things that you know you're right about now are things that you learned that you once did not know. <laughs> you know, the truth is a horrible man. It's a, it's probably the worst thing in the world sometimes, and it wouldn't have to be if the truth wasn't unveiling some lie or deceit or misrepresentation. And there's so much to choose from. I mean, we've we have 200 plus years of our own nightmares to show everybody else so we could be wonderful you know and i've said this a hundred times but i'm sure glad these danes don't hold america's crimes against me personally you know hey you're one of those warmonger and american pricks but i don't get any of that i wonder why because on the other hand i don't run around with a danish flag or any flag i don't really care to fly a flag but there's lots of Hey, Vinny's going to come on and give me some shit. Give you people something to live for. But, yeah. I'll give you a minute, Vince. Take two. They're small. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm losing my mind tonight on everything we know is wrong. Because it's all of it, not just some of it. And it, the proof is in the pudding. Levi is pitching hemp products today <laughs> and once upon a time that's what they were using to make their products so somewhere somebody in the background behind all this government shit we live in got into the government's ear and convinced these men to create a law to make a plant illegal to grow or own or possess or whatever you call it hmm. why would you want to do a thing like that hmm oh yeah you know my answer but uh, what else could it be besides the cotton I mean what would they use cotton for and cotton is such a filthy process to go through to get to making the fabric it's very dirty business did a lot of damage in the environment thing when you know over the time that they've used it it was a big problem in the southern states and i've got an incoming mr vincent let me see here what's going on ringy dingy dingy i answered it there there should be a vincent any moment now you there shit we live in got into the government's ear oh oh i got what have i got okay yeah turn your thing off you crazy man yeah that's a vincent he'll be joining us momentarily for your audio pleasures on in a perfect world okay. what... there i had to push buttons i forgot my buttons again no oh, you now you're coming out my speakers hold on a minute i don't see why that doesn't make it make it good for me. I don't have you in my headphones. Is it good for you? No, no, no. I don't have you in my head. You got something set wrong. No. -uh. You're coming out of my external speakers, Vinny. That's on your end, not mine, Mister. Then how? You gotta what? change your stereo mix or speakers. I gotta what? 
Your You're speaking the problem. Wait a minute. Let me do that. What you call it thing. Give me a minute. I'm not good on all this damn high tech yeah. shit. I turned it there you down. There you go. I got it. All right. I didn't have something clicked. You guys are all techie. Thank you, honey. What's to tell you? I it? I had the real. No, I had no. Uh, Grimner came on and added on this uh, thing to my headphone set, right? That box with the speakers and whatnot. And I forget. I don't do the in call very often. I forget. I have to punch that in after. I won't get you on the headphones. Yeah, I and, have to, uh, had, to, to be able to do it too. I'm like Mary. I don't push the buttons worth a shit. Anyway, so how you doing, Vincent? I often wonder that uh, that would be my last words on what? this earth. What? I wonder what this button does. Oh, <laughs> Wild E Coyote. <laughs> Super genius. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so tonight I was on a rant about everything we know is wrong. And I figured if you were coming on, maybe you're going to show me how I'm wrong and everything I know is right. <laughs> hey, have you heard my chopsticks? Oh, yeah. I've, These are I've, much fun. I've, I've heard tell a you. lot of stuff. That's pretty fun. It's a, it's a very... Uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's a... Oh, okay. Accent. Yeah, go so ahead and that, yak for a minute. I mean, that's what we got to do, right? We got to relax. Sometimes you don't do it. Sometimes you do do it. Okay, it's in, right. It's good. so we're gonna we're gonna start a new movement. It's gonna the the new pound uh the uh, hashtag. We're gonna if we're calling that we too. Are you on with me? Yeah, sort of. We, I told you just um go ahead for a minute. I'm. I'm trying to upgrade something here without killing the everything. I think I did it. I lost my glasses. Let me put them back on. Okay. Yeah, it was an audio. Settings and wire. Yeah. Because, well, now I got this working with you. But it's a setting I need to change in wire. And I've got I've got that far with it. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, what do you think? You're not listening to my conversation tonight, man. What's up? You cannot have a conversation with yourself unless you uh, have uh, more than one. Yeah, that's. I'm Flash. I I can do things. I'm yeah, you way started ahead. out yourself. You, you were, we was flashless. <laughs> hey, here you, with Flash. You, you know started. what time it is? <laughs> Tell me the time. Uh, twelve fifty-two. I three. My, right yeah, now. that's what I just changed. Right when you went three. Yep. Guess what I did? You got synced up, baby. That's right. We fixed. We've done it. We have fixed the problem. The and global time change has no, now been. I'm an hour behind still till the first. Oh yeah, well, there's, yeah. yeah. So then, uh, yeah, because I called London time wrong. They're uh, uh, they're waiting to change too, right? Uh, I don't know, but they're an hour behind us normal. So I'm not really sure. I haven't. Uh, my mom passed. I my, I haven't talked to my you know been talking to the uk lately <laughs> yeah so i don't keep up with the time there no more oh and, and sunday was uh her birthday i went wow i kept it to myself didn't make a big deal out of it but i remembered i felt like a good son for a minute <laughs> uh, i some and, really pr what? pretty flowers the cactus flowers they burn Bloomed at my mom's birthday out in Vegas one time. Ah, we got another sentimental slob on in a perfect world tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go find that. They're beautiful. I'll share the picture. Oh, he has the pictures too. I'll go find you know it. Oh, I, yeah. Like I haven't made a post on Facebook in a while. Oh, you know what? You, your, uh, your buddy today was spewing all his vast knowledge about drugs all over the real liberty media and i have a question but he won't answer it i can answer it i'm training oh, we, okay you, will you doesn't use, i doesn't piss on the carpet we still got clean up shit sometimes but. all right will mm -hmm. you speak for him and i'll ask the question okay where where does your vast knowledge of drug usage come from from a lot of drug tests <gasps> Did you pay, fail or pass? 
<laughs> wow. Well, I studied very, very hard. Wow. All right, here there you go. go. You did yeah. the voice a little bit. Let me uh, pick one. Very beautiful. So you're getting the flowers? Yeah. This is Circle like that. I used to, I when I couldn't get flowers, I'd go take pictures of flowers. <laughs> I thought it was original. <laughs> Impressed her. I got I got a chance to use my creative side because create you know being creative is it's not something you try to do. You just do it. You know what I mean? Huh? Huh? Got it. Huh? So that's part of art. I was seeing something about art here. Did I share that? I don't know. I did. I think I, think I did. I um, here, I'll give you a picture. This is my I, mom. I don't see you posting anything yet. Fire? I'm still behind. No, I, I see something up on uh, community leaders. The time for silence is over. That one? No. No, the new one. Okay, let me see what he's got here for us all. Should be a I big cannot. picture. Oh, that is nice. Cactus. Ooh. It bloomed on my mom's birthday. That's the very first uh, time it ever bloomed. Wow, that is but isn't that something how nature is? That's at my brother's house in Vegas. Well uh, well we were getting lectured by the professor all about L S D today oh. and it was oh. very depressing to see what one person wants to pass off as this is true when no that's not even close to the truth but you can't prove that to a person that's going off written word you have to if you're going to accuse something of being something sit down with it and do it and then find out what it is but a bunch of words type 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 that isn't that's not proof should have seen them before i got a hold of them <laughs> don't no nah, that's not going to work nah. hey, yeah he's coming along so what you got to <laughs> remember our show uh, Doddling Poddle so yeah, this yeah. how we have to approach you Doddling Poddles or oh, hey, the Doddles yeah, that, that too was. I knew what you were talking about you weirdo <laughs> but, uh, no he, uh, he, he, yeah, I, I like to experiment no, with different uh, types of techniques or, um, you know Okay, then I have a question for you. Hey, go ahead. I did a radio program with Miss Mary called The Dork Table. We used to do it, me and Mary, a year ago. And I was it? I was opening up YouTube about, I don't know, a week back or so. And sometimes, because I'm on RLM, I'll get random links in my uh, YouTube main screen. And I saw that old show, so I listened to it. Now, the reason I'm bringing it up is me and Mary were joking about the same things a year ago <laughs> about the same people, the same stuff. It was like, uh, you know, a different day of, of an old joke. Uh, I love timing, don't you? Hey, last night, uh, what time was it? <laughs> I think it's sometime about two o'clock my time in the morning. And uh, I just woke up. And because uh, I wake up a few times through night, so I just woke up and I was getting up. And uh, right as I was waking up, the got the click right here, where I I guess I it just fell out. The chat did and opened back up, and I squinted and I looked. I said, "You seen you say say Vincent?" But I was just momentarily getting up and we're going right back to bed. But yeah, I, that's just another little tiny timing thing. It's it's weird. Yeah. Hey, are you ready for a, one of my deep questions? Sure. Welcome to Deep Questions with Flash. Vincent, what in the life that you live today would you call the biggest lie that you're aware of now? Hmm. That uh, <laughs> <laughs> opens a can of worm. <laughs> Wow. It's a really an easy one to answer if, uh, if not maybe easy uh, not at all easy to put into words but I would say that the uh, idea that uh, uh, it might have to be combined that well there is no God uh, there is no accountability there is yeah. no okay. yeah. 
and that uh, if if there is then god is not fair and that's the uh, uh that's the slander uh of god in my sense and you find it all through religion right but it's, they use people to prove the point the best slanderers of god that there is but we use men to prove the point vincent well, you can't see so you by the very definition and the idea of God, man cannot define God. That's how simple they are. That's exactly what they're doing. And they take the word of other people without following their own You can't <laughs> identify churches. Uh, there's millions and millions of people that follow churches. Millions well, within, and millions even and within, billions uh, of trees. In, within churches, though, you'll find I, uh, identifying ideas and markers and in the idea of uh, okay well if that's if that's the God. biggest lie to you then uh, how do you see that in your physical reality what is it about life that shows you that we're the problem well everybody then is a god unto themselves right so if, well, I if everybody has the right to set their own uh, uh, rules yeah. laws and standards yeah that it's not completely common, right, mm -hmm. for all. Mm -hmm. And once you once you even come to a point of, okay, let's have this common law of man and in our interaction and all is fair, but then you even go on beyond to that. And uh, uh, where do you stop in the very end of uh, seeking uh, right or righteous, uh, being righteous or righteousness in a sense? And, and uh, how do you accomplish that? If, if you're totally seeking to... Uh, you know, uh, like from Star Wars, you know, seek, you know, seek the dark side, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the dark side that you can't see, right? <laughs> Is it there or can you just not see it? <laughs> I'm confused. You lost me in your verbal explanations. <clears throat> I'm well, we're waves. Not here we was walking along and. And it was very dark. When you look uh, into space, if you look at the sun, what would you see? You get um, blinded for a while, much, right? Yeah, wow. your eyes. But... Uh, that's way beyond uh, your forbearance. So you can't be straight into the sun. But if you try to go away from the sun, then what? you go into the darkness. So go towards the light or away from the light. That's the idea right there. Of right or wrong. But of course... You cannot be all that sun right there. You can't just jump right in, you burn up. But if you if you're working and accumulating and gathering what you are along the way into that journey, and then finally you come to the point where you're ready to enter into those fires that of uh, purification in a sense, a uh, uh, refining. What what do you do with gold there? You know, temper it in through the fire and all that stuff. So that that's our journey here in life is a struggle. Uh, why, you know, as so many people, why the suffering, why the suffering, and without, um, without pain, you really have no, uh, no way of uh, judging your experience, and uh, what is pain, a physical pain, it's a, it's a warning to you, um, it's like, you know, if you prick your finger, uh, you yeah, know, you you'd might... be fucked if you didn't have pain, yeah, you mm -hmm. could chop off an arm and not know it, sure. So that's a part of developing a so well, that, here we, that goes then, to everything we know, we know is wrong. Good and bad. Yeah, Doesn't it, it? exactly. Tough flesh. But who taught you what you know, or was was your path like mine, where it was an accumulation over many years of different shit? Definitely, and a lot of people have had a lot of great influence, um, and even in recent years, uh, you know, coming into radio and who. Uh, uh, I kind of uh, look up to as far as their ability and um, their presence and, and uh, their presentation. And Josh Tully, especially uh, James, really, uh, a lot of a lot of folk really uh, set a tone. Who are you laughing? What happened? Did I lose you? Hello. Check check. Oh, I was laughing because Grimner wrote uh, posted a thing while you were talking. What happened? People don't give a crap. I gotta go look at it. Everything you know is wrong, but people don't give a crap. I know. It's. I understand too. How could you? If you do, you do. 
And if you don't, you you won't, and you're not gonna. There's nothing wrong, you wackos. What's wrong with you? This is the best of the best of the best of the best. <laughs> we have Donald fucking Trump in the White House. Well, for letting him, maybe some other we got, Well, I was and getting, I was going getting to the ridiculous. See how that works. You want to go from the ridiculous, the queen the clown, of to the, uh, huh? They've got the queen of England, too. Who do? <laughs> the English. I don't fucking know. Somebody claims it. Here, it's the queen of Denmark. It's yeah, all, yeah. it's all the same. Look, it doesn't matter what you call it. That's what I've been trying to tell you. It just matters <laughs> that you recognize it as something. It doesn't. Well, what are you going to do? I mean, after you recognize it, then what? It only matters if you're doing commerce. Any other activity in life doesn't fucking involve government. The only thing government <laughs> cares about is finance. That's it. Let me stop this for a play. Oh, yeah. Uh, somebody's talking you, behind me. Cool. Yeah, yeah I heard this, something. Yeah, I just got a notification, so I thought I'd uh, open it because it's from Brave the World, um, and that's Brave the at Brave the World on Twitter also. So, but you can find them on YouTube. I don't know if anybody listening there has uh, seen anything from these folks, but I've been following Brave the World for uh, several years here. They bring a lot of good information. So I don't know what this is, but uh, she said twenty years in Nathia. Why? But let's not find out tonight live. Oh. Well, this is just let's, a given. Let's do this in a normal fashion. A little later. And do what now? <laughs> let's do this in a normal fashion. A nor the, I was making fun. Um, yeah. That I was keep, a good one. Did I you, scare you? A little bit? No, you don't scare me. You, you know who like scares I me? Behind the woodshed and slap. Uh, uh, I'll tell yep. you who scares me. Hmm. Jerry Day on YouTube. That guy's scary. Is he ugly? No. I don't... I'm not talking about physically scary, you baboon. I'm talking okay. about his links are frightening. Jeez. Come on. Join me in the conversation, oh, Vinny. I'm following him. I got it right here. Look. Je yeah. Jerry, Jerry Day. He's really... Oh. He's really in tune with the way I see the world, but me and him physically... We look like Hello. exact opposites, like we would have nothing in common at all. And when I listen to his links, he sounds like an educated version of me. He lives in San Francisco, but that picture doesn't. Yeah, he looks a little he looks a little flimsy in the wrist too, but I don't judge the information by the messenger. Unless the information's uh, about you'll get further in life if you suck dick. Well, no, that's not the kind. But if it's about what Jerry's talking about, I'll listen to that. It don't matter if he's gay or not. Well, it would if he was pitching being a fag. Then I wouldn't listen. Well, I got my I, limits. Hey, he I'm not a modern fucking man of the 21st century here, Bosco. I'm an old guy. Got old ways. Dead cow. Huh? He's talking about the dead cow. That was over <laughs> chat from uh, Anti. He put up a... Uh, a link. I read all of that stuff. It was uh, some weird. Hey, uh, special uh, hello to Cowboy Tech dropped in to say hey. Yeah. Oh, the cowboy. Yeah, he's so, one of the tech yeah, people on the reallibertymedia.com. He knows his shit. Why am I blocked here? Because, you know, when you guys all start talking all that computer crap, I, I just go play a game on <laughs> something, come back later. I don't even, I can't learn it for some reason, doesn't do it, doesn't click. So I get bored and I go entertain myself while you're being all smart. Me? Well, not, not you're not doing as bad as you think. Remember when you couldn't do all the stuff you're doing now? <laughs> I do. Yeah. I what remember when you didn't have the equipment to do what you're oh. doing now. Yeah. I huh. don't forget. It's such a pain. But you it was, did it, uh, hey, Vinny. You did the impossible with the minimal, and you pulled it off one way or another, and here we are now. And now you, you've you got uh, the experience of using minuscule, and you're using better equipment. And you got Grim to help you, and I'm sure you're trying harder than I do to, to remember all the stuff you're learning because you're using it. I, I don't use it. I just do radio. I like this one that Grim just shared. Mm -hmm. Grim's, yeah, Grim's awesome. Yeah, you dropped the nug on me. Doodle, doodle, doodle. 
Ba -na 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 -na. Is he putting up funny stuff in the Real Liberty Media? Yeah, That's how you... love bombs. Yeah. Wait. Well, Wait. You know, Wait. people are just so insane, Vinny. They don't really understand the scope of the property that we're on and what it's capable of producing. They, they seem to make the world smaller than it truly is. Shortages and all this crap. No, 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 no. Everything has an answer to it, but the answer's <laughs> not catching on. <laughs> it would appear sometimes, but uh, a lot of times the answer is uh, wrong. Well, how do we get where we get from where we start? It's, I don't think people wake up in the morning and think, oh, I think I'll go out and ruin somebody's life today. Hmm. There's no. many stories. Well, Tales, you don't think accidents power. happen? Sure, accidents happen, but yeah. usually uh, it's what people call accidents are not accidents. They're uh, carelessness. Well, that's different than an accident. And, and yeah, then there's some things that are called accidents that were perpetrated to purpose. Oh, oh, I see where you're going. Okay, well, when you yeah, just start defining we, the words, it changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got and, uh, perfect. Yeah, right, go on, go on, go on. In 1814, we took a little trip. But along with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi, oh, we yeah. took a little biking and we <laughs> took a <laughs> Wow, cowboy came just in time to be serenaded oh. by a redneck on In a Perfect World in the Everything We Know is Wrong show, and we're going to prove it to you tonight. <laughs> what if we did it to, like, uh, uh, Willy Wonka's cho Chocolate Fab Factory? Oh, how about if we didn't and we just told everybody we did? I like that one better. Well, what did you get if you crossed the Oompa Loompa and a, uh, what are the wee people on the Wizard of Oz? Uh, Munchkins? Munchkins, yeah. Yeah. Oompa Loompa and a Munchkin. What would you get? Uh, Hansel? No, come uh, on. You never uh, Hansel. Oh, come on. I Don't ask me crazy stuff like that when I'm... Somebody help me. I don't know. Well, I'll have to type it in here. Yeah, just to have you a, have to figure this one like. out for yourself. This is a job that's bigger than even a doctor could handle what would they sound like <sighs> the greatest scientists in the world couldn't figure out what's going on here now and, oh uh, hey, hey 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 it's my ears uh, back up back up step okay. away from the microphone and put down the harp that's <sighs> all right well if you're Is here that to if you're here to prove everything we know is wrong, you just did. <laughs> it was a harmonica. What, Vinny? That's, that's my, I, I like to pronounce it, harmonica. Oh, speaking of which, I'm boycotting Hansel. I don't believe oh, there is. Uh, my wife has a note here. Uh, I'm reading to you. Hang on, sir. But I, flash somebody, am boycotting Hansel. And she says to me, tell Vinny to prove J. Dredd isn't one of Vinny's personalities. I don't have to. <laughs> As from have Cirque. <laughs> I even got Cirque to play in the Hansel boycott a, with me. That's a fallacy in presentation and stuff. Hey, maybe so, but that woman doesn't join groups and gangs and shit, and I got her to join my evil gang. Yeah, figure it out. That's, that's what I do. And I'm coming for you, Vincent. I'm going to make you one of my mindless followers. You'll follow me wherever I go. You'll do my bidding. <laughs> I'm going to be the tapper. I'll be like uh, the plant tapper, and I'll call people to follow you. So we'll walk along, and oh, everything yeah. they all have words to it. So, so uh, the only place like, I'm nah. standing out like a Morse code. Nah. The only place I'm walking to is Freddy Town. I'm still comfortable. We'll catch all the Freddy Towners. No, Cirque's disappointed. She says, ah, you couldn't prove J. Dredd isn't one of your voice, you know, one of your names. I one won't. of your personalities. I wrote, I wrote it down. I got it I right here. not do this thing. <laughs> You're hurting his feelings, honey, with your accusation. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> Pretty good stuff, huh? <laughs> hey, in a perfect world, 
Hey, you know what? I ran into this other link. I can't think of the guy's name yet. But he's a big, heavy fucker. He must weigh about 350. And he's skinhead, right? He's got those big holes in his ears, inked up his arms all over there. He looks like, I mean, everything that you would expect him to say is the opposite of what he says by his appearance. And he says something on one of these links today, and I wrote it down because this... Uh, this is for the electronic people. He says, fields aren't particles. And if you don't understand that, then you don't understand it. And I didn't understand it, but he went on to explain it in a little bit better detail. And I went, wow. So it, that line has something to do with more with everything we're taught is wrong. Because we're taught stuff that we're... It's not proven stuff we're taught. We're just being taught to believe it is. And I thought that was interesting. I must have be having a dork moment here on In a Perfect well, World. I've gone through all this stuff uh, some years ago, and <clears throat> I, I really ought to uh, go through. I started and got a start on, but out of 66, Episodes at UCY. There's a lot of stuff that there. Um, I really have to play them in the. Uh, probably need to edit. Yeah. Anyways, all through this, and you go back and you look at you know Dewey and uh, the father of this uh, modern education and stuff, and where you really uh, start to see how. Uh, because America used to be, a, uh, and I'll use these words and they get misconstrued yet. And then what it's been interpreted to today is sovereign citizen. But each citizen had a sovereignty of, of them, them themselves. And, of course, then you've got to bring everybody into collusion, right? This cohesive mass to be able to control them. So through time in history, we see how this has been brought about and in towards this modern age that uh, really was shaped before you and I were uh, ever born is uh, this... Uh, public indoctrination to the schools and to uh, or such organizations as the uh, the new uh, Girl Boy Scouts and uh, public education. Television has, uh, of course, played a, a massive role. And we, we see the propaganda films and, uh, you know, the newsreels and uh, during the war and uh, all, all the incitement to bring us into what we are. Uh, and today, this postmodern ism of mankind uh, and it is the uh, new normal that's where we're at right but we're nothing improves we're we're worse off now than Not when we were kids but in, in every but, but. okay what yeah i mean <clears throat> things are definitely easier we couldn't maintain the massive population without the uh, cheap horsepower that comes from the dead uh, stuff out of the ground. It's, uh, yeah, that work. could be replaced. That's just a bunch well, of horseshit. That, that requires a whole different uh, approach in the uh, available technology. And Not that, really. Some re be, but, oh, You know on. where it really stops at? The there technology, stop the technology is, to fix it is here. It's yeah, just being applied to all the crap that's destroying us. Mm -hmm. They just need to s just replace it with the right thing. They know what it is. It's not complicated. Right. We can't depend on them to do anything. No, I, I don't. That's no. not my place. I'm, see, I'm still stuck on it. I'm a guest in a foreign land, so my hands are tied to do any changing. So I'm not changing anything. I'm just honest about how I feel about what's going on. And it's not as bad here as it was where I came from. That's all. Well, it's not bad where I'm at. There you can be a small population. You bragger, well, you. Well, I still, I travel. Yeah, Billy? Uh, two years ago, where was I? I, I was you were everywhere. There. Yeah, well, you know what? There, there's, a, there's social differences, too, that do weigh in the equation in certain cities, Vince. There oh. are places where my hair will get me a lot of attention. And there are places where nobody would even notice. You know what I mean, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. When there I was you go. Uh, when I was a lamb, but, you know what? I, 
Hey, it's 420 somewhere. somewhere. Oh, so. cool. I think it will do that. But I don't think that out of between the two of us, you're the one that's, uh, what would the right word be? Socially acceptable. You know, you fit the mold of society better than I do with the short hair and the tall and all that kind of thing. I Taller wore uh, me. You know, I wore well, your average height, but still, to me, when five foot ten, you're freaking. You might as well be six five. It's all the same. <laughs> uh. It's uh, a lot in this stance and presentation. <clears throat> I, I uh, might be doing a show Friday, and uh, this man up here in uh, Missouri some years ago was was shot and wonder he lived. A four twenty, um, and so <clears throat> we have uh, an approach here, and, and people are going such a wrong way. Uh, the first thing I like to say is what never to say to a cop, especially <laughs> is go ahead and shoot me. Or <laughs> you're I'm sorry to laugh, but yep. <laughs> Listen, when I, when I, I was on it. in California. Uh, just a, a wandering soul. What? No, uh, no proof of uh, who I am or nothing like that, right? Uh, I get pulled over. Me and a buddy of mine, Eddie Cox. He's uh, he's pretty good dead. He went off into Hollywood and got into heroin and all kinds of stuff. Well, he was already doing heroin when I knew him. Him and another buddy. One guy broke a needle in his arm. They're like, "You want to try some heroin?" Like, "Oh no, no thanks." Go ahead. <laughs> anyway. yeah. oh, holy oh, shit. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm just, dude, that would be terrible life to be a heroin addict. I know few people ah. in my head journey. Uh, <laughs> here I was going all along, and I got lost in on the uh, riding the horse there. <laughs> I know you did that all by yourself without me. You're welcome. See what a great influence I am in your radio career. <laughs> oh, what I, I can... was saying. Now, oh, you're talking to cops, man. You better have some there you go. now. If you're black and you run from the cops, hmm. you can probably expect to get shot. So if you don't want to get shot, first thing maybe, especially uh, if you don't want to get shot, is wow. don't be breaking into cars and running, wow. or running into a cop. Uh, look, that one guy, who is he? He's white or black? Probably black. I don't the know. one that Grimner, I think Grimner showed that. And uh, 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 the guy, the cop's like, get out of the car. And the guy's like, I ain't getting out. And uh, he is looked like he was in a crack neighborhood and he just picked up a hooker. And listen, when you're in that neighborhood, uh -huh. when you live that life, it's called the game, right? That's, oh, that's what, it's, is that what it's called. They're called players. There's rules and they, they're well established, especially when you get into this, uh, this norm here in the neighborhood, you know, that's all created. Of course that came about just like the school system brought up, you know, people to be compliant. You also have, uh, the neighborhoods, the the hoods, the barrios that uh, um, what you you have uh, you got the what, who was it the black po folks raping white women for smoking the the marijuana? Oh, that was the Mormons. Yeah, whatever. See now it's all brought about. But then what? Then they get crack and stuff up in the uh, and you got a bunch of crackheads. Yeah, Mormons and, got really behind the uh, anti drug and blamed it on the minority to sell it to their white people and it worked look where we got you know they have this idea of uh, uh moral uh, perpetuity is that the word i'm looking for i don't know yeah uh, perpetuity i don't know if that's moral uh, it's a nice word get them did i get them did i get them ah oh, you uh, suck you duck see you and mary Sucker. right even Sucker. while you do radio you chase these him. freaking ducks i got a dude mm. look Vinny al dente. He's a killer of one duck. We cook a pasta now. Oh, yum, yum. Right. Get some we got grim re responding. If you don't want to get shot by the cops, you must lick their boots. <clears throat> yeah, uh, let me give you an example. Because I've done some cop videos on my own. I see these people being real smart ass with cops, uh, poking their head up in a cop car. You're lucky not to get a jack boot in your butt right, right there. <laughs> you don't have to antagonize them and call them names. The uh, the one video from um, uh, James Freeman that Wanna Taco shared uh, in in support of uh, support of 
uh, uh, Joshua Martinez. There was a bunch of ga- guys, the uh, cop watchers there in Vegas in the video. And at the end, the guys are like, eh, duh, 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 you know, punk ass or whatever to the cop. Very bad idea. Because first of all, uh, you're not going to have your whole gang of buddies with y'all all, all the time doing your uh, cop filming. And, and uh, uh, do know, do, uh, and Vegas is notorious. There is some, uh, uh, their own rules apply with the cops in Vegas. So if you want to be a little bit smarter than be a little less antagonistic with them, I would say. Um, and, and because we do want what people are calling transparency, which of course is a lie, but to have this, uh, um, public presence for me, I, I think that that laminated piece of paper that, uh, we made up. Thank you, Grim, that I hung around my neck to uh, identify myself and give a note. Right. So I'm saying that I'm going to do this, but people need to also be able to have anonymity also, but I would uh, disinvite and, uh, animosity with, uh, with police officers because you're not, you're not going to come out on top. Uh, uh, that's just a fact. And, uh, uh, take it from somebody who's, who has had their ass whooped by the police. It's uh, it's for real. Yeah, but, if only it had them threatened to. They never actually did it. I got to refill this cup right here. I'll be right uh, back. Well, after all that, Mr. Vincent was taking us down memory lane, you know. And sadly that people have bad memories of law enforcement, but what do you expect? Why do you think they call them law enforcement? They're not there to help you. They're there to enforce law. And if you ask some of these geniuses what their laws are, they couldn't tell you. Then how they know what laws you're breaking when they arrest you, I think they just make all this shit up and fill in the paperwork when they have you in handcuffs. Uh, Now, I don't have a lot of history with the cops as an adult, but as a child, I kept them busy. Me and the cops were friends for a year or so total. I mean, no, over a childhood, I suppose you call it. And then once I got that car thing going on, I thought I thought a lot more of uh, getting by without attracting a lot of negative attention. You know? That's right. That's why you do that. I was Don't driving. Go. Yeah, I was driving without a license. So why bring the, in, you know, why encourage them to fuck with me? So I just decided to follow the rules and do like you're supposed to and just blend in and it worked. And either I was so close to being old enough that the cop figured I had my shit so he didn't want to fuck with me for no reason. But when I did um, speed or something, I did get pulled over. But it was like something minuscule, like five miles an hour. It was ridiculous. Just enough reason. Well, back in the day, but, you know, it was, it was so cheap to drive. We didn't have all that uh, mandatory insurance. And if you don't do this, you can't do that. It was, if you can afford a car and you got a license, that was about all it took. All right. In California, it used to be pretty easy to go around with the car there. Um, yeah. and, and which I was going to tell that story back in the 80s when I was on the lamp. Uh, riding with my buddy, the guy in heroin. That's where I left off at. Boy, we went a long trail around back to here. But anyways, so we're riding along one time coming from work and uh, get pulled over. Him, He's a driving. Um, so first thing I do is we're getting pulled over. I take my left hand and I put, I put it up on the dash in my right hand. I stick out the window in my elbow and hold. And I keep all my hands in place. I tell him, I said, keep your hands up on the steering wheel. So the cops came up, uh, the sheriff's department there in that part of uh, California, LA is so huge, you know, and then, so, uh, the, uh, LA County Sheriff's department covers a lot of parts. You probably know all about down around there. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, so we get pulled over and, uh, I'm all like, they come up there. I said, uh, would you like me to get out of the car? Yeah, come on out. So I get out and I say, Hey, how you doing? I said, uh, uh, Hey, you want to search me? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So they search me. And so I've got, uh, I've always kept my money in my front pocket and, uh, um, and I sit switch also to carry my wallet, in my front pocket. My dad always did. But so anyway, so I got a wallet in my back pocket, money in my front pocket. And they just searched me down. I said, all in, you know, they'll pull nothing out. And, uh, so it's like, I'm all like regular guy. I'll like, yeah, I know how to act with police. And, uh, yeah. So after some questioning this and that, they, 
let us go and on down the road we went i'm on the run right i got a warrant out of texas for 10 years in the texas department of corrections i'm a ducking out on that uh and, and on down the road i went why because i was just like uh not giving them any prick or prod right it works yeah it still works to this day i'm 59 years old it's still the same old game in life just i'm older the game didn't change nothing changed yeah there's some rules have been amped up and intensified and consequences you know that um there's been a way of doing things for a very, very long time. And so we're, we're coming into a time of uh, life and society in this world. That we're able to uh, make a directional change and, and tip it. You know, we can't, can't shove it. We got to be moving, <laughs> like, moving in that direction. Wait, and eventually wait we get past that fulcrum and that lever will tip and we will like the world, right? Tip okay. it right side up. Okay. I sure like a pound of whatever you're smoking there, Paco. Come on, Vinny. There ain't, there ain't enough people that are aware the world needs to be repaired to repair it. Most of these boneheads think it's fine just like it is. It's just those people over there need to be bombed into smithereenies and take their country away. And oh, well, While you're at it, pick up the oil, too. And Maybe they got some other resources we didn't notice. We'll get them. And that's what it's about. It ain't about what they tell us. It's about profit and stealing and fucking each other over yeah donna this is what i'm saying that's where we're at in this life that's the consequence of of uh, uh being contained in this uh, open air prison and you don't have any rights people think that we have some rights and stuff but they've all been taken we have uh we have no freedoms i covered that last week in uh uh i read josh tolly's uh uh freedoms and parent freedoms but anyways so uh, yeah we don't have them but what i'm saying is uh, people that are losing their life uh, and being sent to prison for the rest of their life, they, they're throwing themselves into that uh, that oppression and uh, going right into the grinding. By their uh, actions. Yeah. So what you want to do is sometimes like what happened to you is uh, no fault of your own that, uh, you know, you couldn't have changed those events of being uh, being a hot chick, too. You know, hey, if I had a chance <laughs> Nike, no, just kidding. <laughs> wow. But, no, seriously, yeah, really. In a perfect uh, world, just got really perfect. <laughs> Boobs fix everything. Try right. arguing with somebody with a face full of boobs. Can't be done. No. Can't exactly. be done. I defy you to show me you can do it. Send me the video. <laughs> I'll be happy to judge it for you. Wait, my wife says no. <laughs> Now she's back on Prove You're Not Hansel. And she even says Hansel. Hansel. I don't say it like I say hands. Hansel. I got it all over my hands. <laughs> help, help. So, Believe me, Donna, I don't want to ask whooping into the police. I don't know. Well, but you know I what? like it a lot better when I'm not getting my ass whooped by the police, let yeah, me tell you. Well, you know what? I don't like about the interwebs. What? What? What you saying? I don't like that people have these dumbass opinions about important issues of life, and they're completely skewed and they're fucked up. And the person that has the fucked up opinion is pointing at five other people about that opinion, claiming that they're the one that's right. <laughs> It's like, wait a minute. If five of us all agree and you don't, how does that make you the right one? <laughs> how does it make you wrong? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You have, it's just, you have 100 it, people saying that, I, that you're wrong. It doesn't yeah. matter. No, 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 no. You're missing my point then. It's uh, not I, about the result. It's about the interference. <laughs> the result's imp not even in fucking an issue. It's just that constant, you know, you're telling somebody every day, I'm going to slap you, and then you don't slap them. And the next day, you go, I'm going to fucking slap you. And then that whole day, you don't slap them. On the third day, you don't even say anything, and then you walk up over to them. You know what they think you're going to do? Say you're going to slap them. But or they're... slap them. That's what they're expecting. It doesn't take much. People are trying. Oh, no. They've man. already gone past. It's no longer a, a serious threat. It's well, become uh, them. So. 
breath they the bully out of you real I quick. Didn't slapped, they? But instead, Dang. if you walked up and slapped them, they would not have expected been slapped. But I brought the bully out of you really quick. Because you slapped. is a bully, boy. I could tell. I, was, <laughs> I, heard, I heard you when, when the sock pox docs thing happened. You were the one that said, if if that would have been me, I'd have just walked over and slapped him upside his head. And, <laughs> Damn, that was good. And wait a minute. Now you're you're always nice. Stop. You're a nice guy. You're not a bully. But I think that if even you are pushed far enough, that you'll act before you talk. That's what I think. <laughs> and I think that something as serious as that would trigger that kind of response out of you. So to me, there's a part of you that's a bully. And then to me, there's a part of you that's reasonable and thinks things through. But I'm a good bully. I carry scales. There's two of you. Yeah. I carry scales. Mine stay pretty balanced. Yeah. Um, yeah I'd say so. <clears throat> it's a Libra. I mean, it really not it. <laughs> I've never been to Australia, mate. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Libra. That's pretty much describes me. Hey, you, you should do a. Hey, you're running with scales. They kind of teeter totter a little bit. So, in a perfect world, interruption for Van Meter. Van Meter and um, Vinny should do a show about the day she was arrested naked (laughs) in the shower. <laughs> Thank you. That was a in perfect world report. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got uh, I've got some Artuna casing going along for oh. Friday's broadcast. I got okay. some for you ah. from yeah the uh, oh I've got them copied over there in my thingies. Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah the uh, the uh, uh, chicken little and the underdog theme. So I need some more uh, of those superhero theme songs if you got some more those two are definitely going in they're perfect i i copied the lyrics to them also oh well that's go because to- you're clever i would say <clears throat> cowboy tech is posting one of his little memes for all the world to see good one i like cowboy tech's input I'm not shy when I don't like somebody's input either. I be all over them going, ooh, that's stupid. Why did you put that up? Ah. But when it's good, you know what I say? Go, hey, that was good. (laughs) And you know what people say back? They go, I don't care what you think. I'm an anarchist, you idiot. Quit trying to impress me (laughs) with your witticism and your knowledge. (laughs) I don't give a fuck. I don't care how There's smart you are. are sending out there for, uh, uh, against these uh, gun laws. They're declaring uh, sanctuary like cities. There she is again. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to go. Let's see. I've got it in. Did I put it in a playlist or only likes? So I got your two things here. Wait a minute. I'll have to go to. How do I find it? Um, I don't Jim? know. You've okay. lost me again. We're on the road to In a Perfect World with Vinny tonight. Decided to stop in and fix me because I was obviously broken. Right, Vinny? I've got, yeah, I'm making a uh, playlist. So I've not added no, your playlist screwing I'm, around on the internet. Yeah, I'm trying to find the uh, I did. It's a confederacy of dunces, I'm telling you. Hey, look, right here at the top. Buck, buck, buck. Right here chicken. at the top. I don't know. I'm not opening anything. I'm done. I'm not playing no crazy link games right now. In the last 20 minutes of in a perfect world, where things are perfectly insane, I think. Ah, uh, <laughs> Grimner even did the the title to the show, and it got it is decidedly so. <laughs> Even random eight ball agrees with me. See, hey, when you got back up like that, man, you don't need proof. You know, besides, you know what proof is, right? It's in the pudding. I know that. No, don't you ever listen. I said to you many times, Vinci, the truth, the proof <coughs> is the story that I liked. Get it? That's see, that's how proof right. works. Right. 
can I'm you afraid figure I'm out afraid. any other way to explain that? No. Should oh, I? okay. Well, you don't agree with me, so I was feeling all by myself. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> hey, everything hey, you know is wrong. It is decidedly so. It has been written. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna codify you, sir. Son have, of a gun. have you been sorted? Just... Have you been labeled and stacked and organized and carried through and represented yet? No. Oh, oh hey, look at that! Uh, I accidentally yeah. pushed the wrong button, and guess what yeah. happened? You put me right where I like to be. You, you, you opened up the Ethiopian porn channel. No. No. They have. Oh, okay. Hey, I got a <coughs> deep, deep question for you again, Vince. Deep. Go ahead. How many basic needs are there? <laughs> basic, not needs in general. So let's give basic a number and call it up to five. Is that fair? <coughs> I need, fair? let's see, I fair? need food, water, I need shelter. Mm. Uh, I, I need art. Wow. That would include a lot. Wow. The inner that that which entertains you and makes you feel creatively whole. And number five, I need to be able to keep and maintain all that and defend it. Oh yeah, the defend thing. Wow. Wait, yeah, I don't I don't have that idea uh, running around in my head for some reason. Ooh, we got stuff in the background while I am chatting about my great ideas. What? What? Oh, I'm just saying. Hey, I copy and paste those. <laughs> copy cool. and paste. You keep playing the same damn link over and over in the bar background. Oh, you know, what? you know, what a lot of people don't know as a fact. They they don't probably even care at all at this point in time. <coughs> but, <I'm, coughs> hold on, I I got to cough really hard. Uh oh. Well, then don't do it in my ear, you bonehead. But anyway, I think he muted. That was very nice of him. He muted. So oh my! He would, oh, he went outside. <laughs> He'll be back. Give him a minute. Whoa. Poor Vinny. Drink something there, Bosco. Breathe. Can you breathe. Hear me now? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. I can. Can hear you hear you? Yes, Hello? I can hear you. Did Hello. you know that Paul McCartney died in 1965? <laughs> I heard that. <clears throat> yeah, it's true. Proven yeah. true. Bad. They've done it every possible comparison there is to do to make you s take a good look at the whole thing and not just pieces of it and wow they pretended the guy was dead and he wasn't they just replaced him yeah and then the guy they replaced him with was more talented than the guy that was originally there in the first place <coughs> that's great that's a good business model right there let that let that be a lesson to you yeah, but we've been sitting That's what here I did for... with Owen. I, yeah, I didn't like the Owen, so I replaced him with a newer modern well, version. I don't think it was a planned... Uh, it was a, uh, an expected thing. It wasn't planned to happen that way. I don't think you yeah. could have planned that out and have it work the way it worked. Never but, failed to take advantage of a... But a cover-up, you know, that... And the way they explained <laughs> why they covered it up, the way they covered it up, at the time made a lot of sense because they were pushing society around through media and experimenting with what they could do with it. But the ultimate lie to have one of the, you know, most pay, most, uh, physically famous people in a rock and roll band turn out to be somebody that they're not even, that, that's not even them. You could write wow. a song about. No, I, I guess I'm not getting my point across to you at this I'm talking about the ability to misdirect a whole planet full of people and believe in whatever you want them to believe. Well, if they didn't do it there, I guess where else could they have done this? And how many ways has it been done? Look at how the many results. How many Hillary you think there have been? How many what? Hillary Clintons. Oh, please. Hundreds and thousands of them. Thousands <clears throat> and thousands over time. Oh, shit. I don't know what. Three, you, maybe? You know, my five. biggest... My biggest problem with people in general is the crap that they say about the other gender. All these whiners, that the women that whine about the men are a bunch of dumbasses. And the men that whine about the women, they too 
are a bunch of dumbasses. You can't yeah. just, it's like being a bigot. I hate niggers, and my name is Joe Brown, and if you come around me, you better not be a nigger. I'll cut you down. And there are people in the world that say and believe and talk that way. They're dying yeah. out. But, less and less of yeah, those two. Yeah, they're dying out, but I lived next door to one for, wow, about 10 years. Just a well, sorry. You know, just uh, ignorant. And, right, uh, but to the person him. has the right to be a bigot and be ignorant or be uh, as long as, you know, they don't go out and uh, physically uh, attach uh, a black person to a tree with a <laughs> uh, Right, uh, but when I brought my black buddy Reggie around, the guy was real, he was quiet. He didn't say anything anymore. <laughs> But when he wasn't around, he had a lot of opinion about me and that nigger hanging out together. I just stupid. But that was his upbringing. That's what he was raised with. How he was taught to behave. <laughs> Sad. Yeah. It's like wow, lucky you. <laughs> oh, you had you was able to bring a little teaching into his life. An example. That's that's the only form of really teaching, right? Well, you can't like my, say things. My and fault. teach somebody by saying things. You have to example it, right? But my Set fault all. is not really treating people according to the look, how they look. I don't care what you look like. That's outside. You can be brown or white or green and still be a piece of shit. So, you know, it's, that's not how I judge people that I want to interact with. Well, like I've color looked, and height and all that crap. In places and been uh, here and there interacting with folks so. well i've never been a victim of being white i in my whole life i've never hey white boy what the fuck blah, blah, blah. what's that's being bred more and more right now too yeah the magna hat <laughs> that's what i've been reading on the internet it's it's cool to be it's okay to be white shit like that I go, what are you fucking talking about hang on i'll be right back <clears throat> no way he goes that is, is what's being pushed. They always push back and forth and uh, create more and more uh, friction incrementally, step by step. <clears throat> what did uh, Frumpy, he showed some meme where the uh, uh, gay agenda has got all these new uh, letters you got to include in it, I guess, now. It's if uh, do, do what you want to in life. You can't yeah. do what you want to in life. Are you insane? As you, long as you're not violating you, somebody else, right? Oh, no, 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 no. It's gone way beyond that. And now because gardening in certain municipalities is against the fucking law, the law will come and destroy your garden. Well, Saw it in Tulsa. You been to Tulsa? No, I saw the link from Tulsa. I'm not, I've been through oh, Tulsa. Oh, I never oh. spent time uh, living there. Uh, passed through Oklahoma City a lot, too. But I didn't Oklahoma. spend a lot of time in Oklahoma. Stink called Now Tulsa is a, like a cesspool. Wow. Oklahoma. I was yeah. going through there in the seven, late 70s, maybe a couple of times through the early 80s. I left Oklahoma. Driving in a pony, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Through all these travels and all the places I've been, all the people I've met, I'm still alive. Still, no bullet holes. <sighs> no gaping wounds from, you know, attackers with knives or pitchforks or base. None of that. So, what? Well, you know, I just got a dull, boring life. I don't live a life like you, Vincent. Live on the edge. Danger well, every round, every calm. corner. I'm pretty calm these days. Well, <laughs> That's now. how I interaction with people. Like these police, I didn't go out and get a smart aleck with them. She's like, I beg. Oh, she <laughs> beg from the highway patrolman there guarding the, the exit, the escape route for the uh, <laughs> the uh, kidnappers that was holding the Bundys and Ryan Payne. Oh, yeah. You know, that, She's see, the, out, the, the Bundy thing. That's going to be forgotten in the public eye is what's oh. going to happen. They're going to wait you out, drag it out in court in 20 years. People, yeah, people, well, that's what they tried before. Yeah, you know, people are, 
He quit paying the extortion to the BLM in 93. Mm -hmm. See, I was 21. Oh, years right, black. right. This is, they work in 20 year blocks. They're, they're mm -hmm. counting on your, yeah. you know, you're going to die before this gets resort, resolved. But they try to push the limits too there to make example and they'll do it along the way, but they can't do it all at once. See, if they come to arrest a million people, it ain't going to go over. But if you knock them down one at a time or six or eight at a time or uh, however many. And, and the thing is, see, is what you want to try to avoid at all costs is putting yourself within their jurisdiction. right? And if you've got title, then you have to show title. And that's the end of that. right? You I would think. Know. Oh, no, no, they keep coming at you in some other way. Make new laws. Oh, right, right. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Well, that's why I call it what I call it. It's, I'm just lucky enough to be severed from it. You're not really. Yeah, nah, I spend my time hanging around with some people that speak English in America. That's not being in America. <laughs> and it's been so long. I mean, wow. I Sometimes I... I can't believe it's how life is. I got it, uh, a great life. And a lot of people I read in, you know, their input don't have it so good. Can you nap, Flint? Can I what? Nap, Flint. Map, Flint. Nap. Yeah. Well, like I don't make even know, that. I don't even make know what you're asking me. It sounds like some kind of weird shit. Make an arrowhead. Nap. Flint. Oh, make an arrow out of what? Flint. Well, I guess st there's stones. I don't. I don't know could stones do that well. You get the bottom of, of a like a coke bottle or whatever glass you find these days. Oh, anyway, well, what I want to do this for? What's my goal? Just for art, or for art's sake. Oh, for art's sake. I would. I have different ways of doing art than that. I, I etch <laughs> glass with a Dremel gun. That's got a, a look. That's got a nice result to it. And but what I is? paint. I etch glass with Dremel gun. Yeah, see. And then, depending on the depth of the cut, you paint it in certain parts this color. And then when you turn it on its face, it looks, you get that marble kind of gloss, high gloss, real, it's real impressive. I'm going to find you something. Okay. Well, anyhow, what I would say um, do a rose on a foot square, square foot of glass. And color in the paint, you know, the paint parts of the rose so you could see it. And then spray paint over the entire back of it. So when you flip the thing over, it was, it. well, what I was explaining. It's like one of those marble finishes in a, you know, in a downtown, down New York building, maybe. San Francisco where they had a lot of that high polished marble. Mm-hmm. Well, I like that glossy look to this particular kind of art. I, uh, my brother is dead now down in Louisiana. He got this marble stuff off a, a building. Built some cool, a cool table, coffee table, and tables. Well, I'm not finding a good example here uh, of what it was. I was like, Zach. Well, you did pretty good with the picture of the, um, the cactus with your flower on it. I was impressed. Because I used to I, do that when I... Uh, I met Cirque in the wintertime, right? Uh -huh. Well, I'm one of those old guys, and I said, well, if I was there, I would probably get you a flower, but I'm not there. So I went out to town to do something, and in town was one plant growing a flower. <laughs> so I grabbed my camera, you know, I had my camera, snapped a picture of it, and it got the same result by sending a picture of a flower in winter than I would have if I would have done it in person. It was very strange to... I don't think it translates very well. But mm. the effort was more important than the result. Yeah. Well, you know, so, so what I mean is different people wouldn't be impressed. That wouldn't mean fuck all to another female. So I got matched up with the the crazy woman that saw the the stuff that I saw the way I see it. This is very strange. Five years, you, Vincent. Five years. I, yeah. I can't I find what I... What is this apple glass? Yeah, oh, glass etching. I guess it would be glass etching. I started out with a, a hand tool. And then I don't know how I found out about Dremel gun. Probably because of the uh, 
I'd been to a dentist office or something, and I remember they had that gun, and they do drilling and things with it. And they have a flexible arm and all kinds of gizmos and gizmachis, and I went with Dremel yeah. and kind of created my own art. Other people weren't doing it. And there's all kinds, of, man, you just do anything with a little shift to one side that, and you create a new form of art. It's not art. This is pretty. Let me get this one. Ah, Mr. Vincent. I was bragging about my old days when I was young. I was but, listening. Hey, I still got Cirque around to be my witness because she's seen the result of my art, so she knows I can do it. Now, maybe in the future I might uh, pursue something. I was thinking of the next thing I want to do is get a jigsaw with a real, like a, I don't know, an eighth inch blade, maybe something small. And do cutouts of countries and states in wood. <laughs> you know, your favorite country, and you can get like a stencil or whatever and just make a mark on the wood and ink and just cut that out with the saw. It's like a sewing machine kind of thing and move the wood around and get those nice round and sharp edges wherever you want them. That picture, can you see it? That's amazing. Oh. That very long now hold on let me see wait a minute i got a cowboy i don't know where did i don't see if he posted anything here there's a wait, there it is vanna white oh wait Van, you change your fucking name every 10 seconds you maniac how oh, do i keep up with you oh, oh cool. wow me when it says a vinny in there wow, wait, wait 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 so the picture is wow that's cool that pretty there's yeah, more. Shit. I was What's that blade made out of? The blade? Yeah. Uh, it's glass. It's yeah, fiber optic glass. Yeah. Fighting wow. That would be probably. Fiber optic glass. So they're being probably, they made a process maybe. It's for 210 bucks for that knife. They probably, I don't know what they did if they melted the fiber optic glass and then uh, napped it from there. Wow. It'd have to be strong as what? Stainless? Like, what would be a strong, no, no, it's fragile, strong but metal it's, for a blade? No, it's I'm not, not a blade it's, maker. It's, I don't know. I'm just looking. Glass. At it. It'll break real easy. Oh, oh, because you can make glass so glass won't break. Well, I don't know if you can make it and then nap it. I don't know that either. But see, that's the point of art is you experiment with this process. And you try it with that process. And see what happens if you add a little of this. It's kind of like cooking, I suppose, but with power tools and uh, metals or wood. I like working it. I'd like to work in wood again, I think. I'm going to have to have a little sit down and make a decision. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Anyway, we're at the end of the show. You want to do the, hey, what's coming up on the schedule of any? Hey, this is what's coming up. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks, <coughs> Vinny, for popping in. I am uh, all righty. Great. Had fun. Here comes yeah. uh, here, here comes tomorrow is Wednesday. We got Grammy at 6 o'clock Central Time. Thursday, we've got Flashback and uh, kicking off at noon. I don't know if that's uh, Eastern. I think that's right. What time is it? Because you changed your time and are you coming late or what you going to do? No, I want... I wanted to come down to the evening time, well, about 8 o'clock. Okay. So, so, well, I'll pop around and check them out over here. Then yeah, uh, Friday. We'll have a time on there for Thursday. Uh -oh. I think it already does, 2 p.m. Eastern time, because uh, we needed to update that. I w I'm too old for all that staying up into the middle of the night. But I wanted to you, give it a try. Oh, so if I wanted to out. Fuck with it. It. You let us know for sure. No, and yeah, then, uh, it's at 2 o'clock on uh, the east coast on thursdays all right well our uh our flagship and our flag night and uh, day is on fridays and uh kicking it off at noon central with the ponder gander that's me gonna be here ponder and, gander. Uh, yes considering perspective grammy comes back at 6 p.m central blasting off nail rocket chair and the freakers ball y'all we spell that f-r-e-e -E. we're free curse yes right and you might find me <laughs> Freaking Vinny. That's right. The free <laughs> camp right over here at reallibertymedia.com along with Grimner Moose Girl on the Freakers Ball, y'all. And come back around on the next day. And Flash Arena will be here at uh, 
noon Eastern time with the dark table, dark and darky dark. And uh, Sunday comes along for some serious business, and that is uh, a little <laughs> trivia and some blues in the background. Kicks off at a quarter at 11 Central Time. Come on along, play along, and listen to a song. Uh, then, then comes uh, Hal Anthony from behind the woodshed with the notice in the news and identifying the oppressors. They have their foot inside of jack boots, ready to put them on the back of your neck in a good way. Of finding out how to not get that happen to you is listen to the Pathfinder, Mr. Hal Anthony, right here behind the woodshed, noon o'clock on the left coast over yonder. Then uh, come back and we'll have some grim leftovers, and that's on Monday nights in the evening time. And then back right here Tuesday again to in a perfect world. And uh, where uh, I don't know what we're doing here, we're trying to figure it out anyway, so along the way. So thanks for listening. RLM Radio. <laughs> LibertyMedia.com. Thanks. Good night, everybody.